Hi boys and girls, welcome to another Sunday. Let's start our time in worship with prayer. Lord, we love you and we thank you for everything that you've given us. I pray that as we sing and as we learn from your word, that we would remember how good you are, how holy you are, and how wonderful you are. In your name we pray, amen. Sing with me. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship his holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul, I'll worship your holy name. Time to sing your song again. Whatever may pass and whatever lies before me, let me be singing when the evening comes. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. His holy name. Sing like never before. Oh, my soul, I'll worship your holy name. You're rich in love and you're slow to anger. Your name is great and your good to see you again. I hope you had a really good week. It's Miss Allie and we are here together to learn more about the Bible, right? Isn't that what we do on Sunday mornings? 
I think so. So we have been learning about who? Moses, that's right. And last Sunday, Miss Cat taught you about the 10 commandments. And so we're gonna pick up right where we left off there. So Moses was up on Mount Sinai talking to God and God gave him the 10 commandments to give to the people, right? And did you know that he was up there for 40 days and 40 nights? Let's see, long time. How many days does a month have in it? Like 30, 31, so it's like a month and 10 days. It's a long time. And the people down below, the, you know, the Israelites, the people that he was that he was leading, they got a little restless. They were like, you know what? Where's Mo? Where's Moses? He's been gone for a long time. Is he even coming back? Like, what's going on with this dude? And Moses left Aaron in charge of all the people when he was up in Mount Sinai talking to God. And the people were like talking to Aaron and they were thinking, um, we don't know if Mo's coming back. We don't know if Moses is coming back. What do we do? Like, who do we pray to? Um, who are we going to worship? Aaron, help us make a God for us. They forgot all about God because they didn't have Moses. It's pretty crazy, right? So Aaron was like, hmm, what do I do? He didn't think to like tell them that they should worship God, the almighty God, right? So he like thought, Huh, okay, so he went around and he told everybody to give them all of his their gold. Gold rings, gold nose rings, gold earrings, gold tiaras, I don't know what they had. And so then Aaron took all the gold and he melted it down. And do you know what he made? He made a calf. Do you know what a calf is? A baby cow. Maybe he couldn't make a full cow because he didn't have enough gold, I don't know but he made a golden calf. And all the people decided, awesome, we'll worship that instead. So they sang and they prayed and they worshiped this golden calf. Pretty crazy, right? I mean, I feel like you have a golden calf or you have the God who parted the Red Sea. Hmm, a little different, don't you think? So when Moses was up in Mount Sinai talking to God, God saw all the things that was happening down below. And God said, Moses, you got to go down right now and talk to your people. So Moses went down the mountain and he was carrying the two tablets. Do you know, remember what the two tablets had on him? The 10 commandments. That's right. That God wrote this finger. So he had the two tablets in his hands and he got down to the mountain and he saw what was going on and he went like this. Exactly. And he was so bummed and he was so angry about what was happening that he threw the tablets down on the ground and they broke into pieces. He was so angry. And I understand. I would be angry too. And he's like, Aaron, what is going on? And he told all the people that they need to stop. They need to stop worshiping the golden calf and they need to start worshiping God. And Moses went, he's like, you know what? I got to go talk to God again because I'm really angry. And so he went up to the mountain to talk to God again. We went back up to Mount Sinai to talk to God again. And God wrote down on the tablets again, the 10 commandments yet again. And God was like, I am so mad with all those people. I want to give them consequences and I want to punish them. Do you know what Moses said? God, forgive them. Forgive them. You love them. Forgive them. Remember your promises to Abraham that you would promise. You promised the promised land to us. You promised all these people. Don't forget about your promises. You love them. God was said, yes, you're right. So then Moses went down to the mountain and delivered delivered the 10 commandments again. And the people stopped worshiping the golden calf. And do you know what the Bible calls the golden calf? Calls it an idol. 
Have you heard of that word before? Not like American Idol, the singing show, not like that. It's a little bit different. In the Bible, idols are things that we worship more than God, or things that we put in front of God in our lives. And I have to admit, I think I probably have idols. I think we all have some idols in our life. Things like, do we think about what we're gonna watch on TV, what we're gonna play, what we're gonna eat? Do we think about ourselves more than we think about God? Probably. Do we love those things more than God? Maybe, sometimes, maybe some people do. That's what, we, what the Bible calls idols. And the golden calf was kind of like it was an idol for the Israelites. And those are the things that we should not have in our lives. And the good thing is, is that we have Jesus. Just like Moses went to God and said, forgive them and pleaded with God. Jesus did the same thing for us. He went to God and he said, forgive them, forgive these people forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. You love them. And we still, Jesus still does that for us. He still pleads for us. He still asks God to forgive us. And through Jesus, when we trust Jesus and we love him, God forgives us. He does. And he helps us with those idols in our lives. He helps us. He shows us what they are in our lives, and he helps us choose God over those idols. Because think about it. If we trust in, or if the Israelites trust in a golden calf or God, who do you think is gonna come through for them? God. <laughs> the golden calf can't do anything. Just like shows or movies or ourselves, we don't have as much power as God does, right? We can't solve all those problems or those things can't solve problems in our lives. We can help a little bit, but God, God does. God's the one that does those things. I'm so grateful that we have Jesus and we have God who love us and care for us and lead us in the right way. And that concludes our story for the day. Will you pray for it with us? Dear Jesus, thank you so much for your love. Thank you for pleading for us, for asking God to forgive us, for dying on the sin on the cross for our sins so that God would, could forgive us. We thank you for everything that you've done. And we also thank you, Lord, that you continue to lead us in our life, guide us day by day, showing us which way to go, what to believe. Um, we just love you so much. We thank you that we can trust you and we can rely on you. Please guide all of these kids through this next week. Show them that you are there with them, guiding them. Help them not to be afraid. Help them to trust in you and to see you and to love you more. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye. Bye.